who hunted this forest themselves. Down to Earth on France 24 and France24.com. Hello there, welcome back to Live from Paris on France 24 with me, Catherine Nicholson. Our headlines this hour. There's a new diplomatic push as more violence erupts between Israelis and Palestinians. The US Secretary of State now starting a new round of talks in Berlin from today. Well, the United States has poured school. Many a.m. here in Paris. It's 10 a.m. in Tel Aviv. Also coming up for you this hour. Would you pay to watch YouTube videos without those pesky adverts? We're going to be most... And art fans, it's time to grab your... Well, first then, violence continuing in Israel and the Palestinian territories, despite a diplomatic push now involving the head of the United Nations and the U.S. Secretary of State. A new stabbing has been reported in the last few hours this Thursday. Police saying two assailants have been, quote, neutralised. John Kerry is now in Berlin, where he will meet the Israeli Prime Minister later on. He's also due to meet the Palestinian Authority President at the weekend. Well, Wednesday saw several new attacks, including stabbings and people being rammed by cars. Our correspondent, Iris Mackler, with the latest. What we have heard this morning is that in a town south of Jerusalem, a young man was approached by two Palestinian assailants. Um, they tried to stab him. Police at the scene shot them. They are now uh, in a serious condition being treated in hospital. Some, one of them, in fact, in a critical condition. This comes in following a day when there were four attacks, um, stabbings, car rammings, uh, six soldiers injured, one critically, and then in the evening, an attack where two soldiers on a bus shot someone who they said was trying to take their weapons and turned out to be an Israeli. This has led this morning to a discussion about the rules of shooting. Do you have to shoot and kill an assailant? Can you neutralize them? This whole policy of shooting first and asking questions later or not asking questions later is under the spotlight this morning. And a personal observation, I have to say I was here during the second intifada and people are more tense now than they were then. Uh, Israelis are afraid that every Palestinian they see will take out a knife and stab them and Palestinians are afraid that every Israeli they see will simply take out a gun and shoot them. People are more tense now than I have seen them um, at any stage actually. Well, we can bring you footage now of a vigil that's been held in Tel Aviv for the Eritrean man who was mistaken for an attacker at the weekend. Habtom Zahum shot and severely beaten by bystanders. He later died of his injuries. Well, hundreds of his fellow Eritreans gathered.